Well, Andy, in Fremantle, the winds were strong enough to knock over a tower of sea containers. Jerry DeMassey, it really just shows how strong these winds were last night. Well, Libby, it's certainly a good indicator. These shipping containers weigh about four tonne each. As you can see, there's about 30 here that have just fallen in on top of each other. Now, the winds did get over 100 kilometres per hour last night. And here on, in Rouse Head, we're right on the coast, so they copped the absolute brunt of it. Um, now, it's going to be quite a job to have these lifted. They're very heavy and put back into place. Some of them are actually destroyed. They've buckled under the pressure. Uh, but as you say, there's another storm front on its way, so workers here will be bracing themselves for this afternoon, Libby. And Jerry, the storm also sparked a sea rescue. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's right. There was a boat that broke free of its moorings in South Perth. It uh, drifted down to Applecross where it got uh, pinned against the Canning Bridge. Now, Fremantle Sea Rescue were able to get out there and tow it back to safety, but it wasn't without a fight. The skipper of the rescue boat said that it was some of the worst conditions he's ever seen, with waves up to a metre crashing up over his bow. Uh, now, I will bring you more on that story in our next local bulletin at 8.30. Libby.